We are clapping it up for rain as we go into tonight. And I'll tell you why. I'm meteorologist Joe Martucci. We are looking for rainfall totals anywhere from a few hundredths of an inch near Vineland to even upwards of a half inch by the time all is said and done between today and tomorrow here. Let's show you what's going on and why we do need this rain. This is a look at our month to date precipitation. And we have been dry, dry, and dry here. We wound up very dry on this chart, well below average with our rainfall. And that's why we're teetering on drought in most of South Jersey. We were placing that abnormally dry state of conditions by the United States drought monitor. Now, as we go into this evening, yes, we are looking for periods of rain to continue to be around until about 9 o'clock or so. Then you could just see a spotty shower till 11 o'clock. And then we actually clear out for the rest of the night here. So it will be a sunny early start to your day, but clouds coming quickly here. And then we're looking for some spotty showers as we go from midday Tuesday right into sunset here. And that's because around the counterclockwise spinning low pressure system, a little bit of moisture is still available. And we're going to kind of squeeze that out mainly in Ocean County during this time here. When we look at wind gusts, they're coming from the east, and we do have that counterclockwise spinning low pressure system, and that will flip our winds to the northwest and get a little bit breezy as we go into early on Tuesday here. Winds will be from the northwest as we go into our morning and then flip to the southeast as the day goes on, but this should be light. Winds will be light as we go into your Tuesday. We have two more opportunities for rain as we look at the rest of the week. That will be Thursday morning here. It's going to be an Arctic cold front that passes. You see that snow in Pittsburgh, even northwestern New Jersey, but it should just dry out by the time it gets here. Then we look to our west, and there will be a low-pressure system that moves on in as we go into Saturday here. According to the European model, we're talking about periods of rain for another Saturday, and then we do clear out as we go into our Sunday here across the area. But Saturday does look to be fairly wet. We'll have more details for you as the week goes on. For tonight... We'll see temperatures that fall into the 40s here. Again, some rain showers through about 11 o'clock. Periods of rain will end early this evening. We go into your bus stop forecast for Tuesday. Light jacket, pair of jeans, that'll do here. We'll have a mostly cloudy sky clouding up as we go later into the morning. And then over at the shore, pretty much the same story with the temps. Tuesday, a brief shower or two. I think at least 90% of your day is dry in any one place. And if you're in somewhere like Millville or Vineland or Cape May, I would just bank on a dry but cloudier day. Tuesday night, partly cloudy. Winds coming out of the north and the northeast. And here's a look at our inland seven-day forecast. You know, we're the only place that does an inland and shore year-round seven-day forecast here with high and low temperatures. Another reason to support us here at the Press of Atlantic City. Here we go. So we have Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday all dry days. Temperatures seasonable in the 50s here. Then we go to Saturday. Really warm, 72, but periods of rain. Now, this temperature forecast can change, but we are looking for a warm and wet Saturday. Sunday looks to be cooler, but brighter here. And then we go into Monday as we get into our uh, first week, transitioning from March into April, partly cloudy sky, 58 degrees. We'll have our latest Something in the Air podcast coming for you later this week as well, recapping the month of March. We'll be certainly talking about drought. You can find that wherever you get your podcasts. And also check out our Across the Sky podcast. which comes out every Monday in your podcast feed.